Shook it up. So I'm down in Devon at the London Surf Girls Surf Camp on a bus in a wetsuit, which was like a workout in itself trying to get into. my hand at surfing and see how good slash atrocious I am at it. Good morning from Devon. I am still here. I'm still alive. I did some surfing yesterday and I survived and I even almost managed to stand up. But we are doing more surfing today. I'm in a bikini. We're going to go paddle boarding this morning, have some breakfast and then yeah hit this this is my view this is what i've woken up to this morning like this place is amazing it's like big airbnb house um provided by london surf girls and it's just phenomenal to wake up to a view like this me and lex actually listen to waves at night to have a sleep and this morning i got to wake up to the actual sound of the waves because i'm back in the window and there's the beach and there's where we surfed yesterday it's that close that close I'm here with OGX and the London Surf Girls and both of them have really good ethos to their company. So London Surf Girls was set up by Kylie and her husband Carl because they were living in London and they went surfing and really enjoyed it. And then they were doing it, it was kind of like their hobby and realised that it wasn't really accessible to people who lived in cities. So they set up this club and it has gone from strength to strength. They've worked with brands like OGX and um, they set up camps, things like that. And some of them are for charities. And it's just amazing that they're doing something that they love and sharing it with other people and teaching people like me how to surf who's never done it before. And um, we get to stay in this amazing house, meet new people, get out surfing, get out in the outdoors, enjoy something completely different that's actually out of a lot of people's comfort zones that are here. Um, I just threw myself into it and have really, really enjoyed it. OGX, if you don't know what OGX is, I will show you. So I'm sure you've seen uh, these bottles in your local supermarket or the chemist, whatever. Um, this is like one of their bottles, but they have loads of different products and it all comes from a really good place it's all cruelty free it doesn't have any of the additives that a lot of other products have and um, that may not be good for your hair so it's all very natural it's sulfite free and it comes down to like adding in things that really will nourish your hair rather than adding in chemicals and things so going back to the basics of natural ingredients and they just have so many different ones for different hair types and while I'm here I've been using the charcoal one because obviously I've had a lot of salt in my hair so just to give it an extra bit of life take all detox all the salts out of my hair so right now I'm gonna go down and have breakfast then we are going paddle boarding and then we're going surfing again this afternoon. And then food at the pub. I'm at the paddle boarding arena, if you call it that. It's a pond. They're trying to call it a lake, but it's a pond. With tiki huts you're meant to have like pina coladas though. Yeah. <laughs> I think the ducks look happy. They're staying afloat. So it is going home time. I've got my beanie on, it's a little bit colder today. And we have to yoga this morning. I've had some breakfast and it's back to Shrewsbury for me, to the family. Just wanna quickly show you my view. That is the view that I've enjoyed. Waking up to the waves in the morning. So guys, um, if you don't already, go and follow London Girls Surf Club. Go and follow OGX, because that's products I've been using on my hair and it definitely has improved my hair. I am wearing a hat just to keep me warm. I had such an amazing time, it was such a great opportunity. I met some amazing people all from different walks of life and it's good to just put yourself out there and do new things, meet new people because normally I would kind of hold back from these kind of situations, throw myself into meeting new people that I haven't met before and doing new things like 
um, yoga on a deck and surfing down in Devon and paddle boarding. They are all completely new to me and I really enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time with more gym related stuff I guess. Good afternoon lovely people. So today is Wednesday, it is the 11th of September and I'm trying to get back to normality after a lot of travelling over the last couple of weeks and again I'm away this weekend so I think next week I have decided to start a mini cut. So because I've had good healthy weekdays and then at the weekends I've been doing things travelling and it's just meant that my intake hasn't been the best and the most consistent so I just want to do a little mini cut just to get me back on track I'm going to spread it over eight weeks and not with the goal of getting shredded or anything like that but just to get myself back into a good routine drop a little bit of weight drop a little bit of the excess body fat I've built up over a bit of excess eating over the last couple of weekends so this is my starting point and I just wanted to share with you what it's like in my last week of kind of maintenance and maintaining my weight my weight has been hovering between 119 to about 123 pounds for the past couple of months um, I haven't really gotten below 119 but my aim is probably to get down to about 116 pounds. Today I weighed in at 122 pounds, so that would be in around about a six pound loss over eight weeks, which is very achievable, not too excessive. When I get down to stage weight, when I am super lean for competitions, I'm usually about 108 to 110 pounds. So this would be about another half a stone on top of that. It's where I usually feel the best in my clothes and the healthiest in myself and how I look and I have abs and feel quite confident. So that is where I'm starting out at now and I'm just gonna give you a quick physique update to show you what's going on in the body. down in the kitchen and I've got my little girls with me and uh, I've just been doing laundry watering my plants because they're not looking too healthy so now I'm just gonna get some breakfast for Lex and I I've already had my vitamins I've had a liter of water I've had coffee so breakfast food time and then we might hit the gym So this morning one of our neighbours called over with some fresh tomatoes and I decided to make myself and Lex some nice omelettes. Mine is egg whites, I'm just saving my fats for later. And uh, I've got some mushrooms, some of the fresh tomatoes, some fresh basil and some ham for the protein and some of the Eat Lean grated cheese, which I now have a discount code for, which I'll put down below. Go and enjoy this now. Low carb, high protein, low fat, so a high protein breakfast, have this, then we'll get some exercise done. So I'd walk the dogs and I was just about to leave for the gym when my women's best supplement order arrived. So I thought I'd take you through what I've gotten for the month and what my favorite products are from women's best. You can use Laney 10 to get 10% off and there is a link down below that links back to me and supports me. So I've been making my way through a lot of the different flavours from Women's Best. I like the Fit Way because it has really good macro breakdown. So this month I am trying out this salted caramel, so I'll probably make that into a shake today just to see what it tastes like. We've got the True Beauty Collagen, which I usually put with my protein powder into a shake with some berries. 
Then I've got some smooth peanut butter. So this has an added protein in it. It has 30 grams protein per 100. That will be dangerous because I like to stick my fingers in that. It's nice to have the added benefit of protein in your peanut butter. These I had ran out of last month and I found them really great for my hair to be honest and they taste amazing. I've already had two since opening the box. They taste like candies and they're full of good vitamins and minerals essential for healthy hair we have a really good whack of biotin which is essential for growing your hair nice and long and strong and um, the protein cream this is the cookies and cream flavor i also had the praline flavor the hazelnut flavor which is really good but i've been making energy balls with them so i'll show you that in a future recipe video but this looks uh, yummy again very dangerous because i have a tendency to stick my fingers in it uh, i really like these crisps the salt and vinegar flavor is my favorite and they just have really good macro breakdown because a lot of healthy crisps actually have a high fat content whereas these are 2.8 grams fat 3.7 grams of carbs and 11.2 grams of protein so loads of protein in there and who doesn't like a cookie so we've got the protein cookies, there's four in a box, perfect for with a cup of coffee, and you can always stick them in your handbag as well for a little treat, either when you're out and about or if you're in work and you need 11s, there you go. Perfect little treat, avoiding getting a dirty big chocolate bar from the tuck shop. Well, this will pretty much keep me going for the entire month. We have a month's supply of the True Beauty and a month's supply of the hair vitamins. So they do get restocked every month. The protein, I just have lo love to have loads of flavours because I bake with my protein. And my favourite flavour so far has been the toffee pretzel flavour. And um, the double chocolate is really good as well. It's very chocolatey. Um, but I'm thinking the salted caramel will probably be quite good too. And obviously the protein crisps, I just like salt and vinegar crisps. They taste like good old fashioned tato from Ireland. So um, We'll give them all a go this month and see how we get on and see how my order changes next month. So I'm probably going to have a shake now and um, it's kind of getting on and Lex went to Asda ages ago to get stuff for his bike and hasn't arrived back yet and he messed me saying he couldn't get it in Asda so I don't know where he is. He told me he's in Narnia. This is pretty much typical text conversations between me and my husband. We will eventually get to the gym. I have walked the dogs so at least I've done some exercise. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.
in from the gym and I am prepping some food for dinner. We have some, well this is dessert technically. We have some apples and blackberries simmering here to make an apple and blackberry crumble for Lex. And then in the oven we have in here we have some butternut squaffles, some mushrooms and asparagus. We have some super green stuffed chicken breast from Muscle Food and some honeyed carrots and parsnips just all cooking away in there. So I'm trying to keep my food intake as healthy as possible but from Monday we're going to be back to strict tracking. We're going to start tracking the food again, make sure that we're keeping within the macro boundaries so that week to week I can adjust my macros. That is the important thing about tracking your food. It's not about hitting your targets, it's more about how you can adjust your targets when you see results or when you don't see results. For me personally as someone who coaches people online and who also coaches myself, I like to take a scientific approach. So if I have figures and facts there in front of me, I can make more accurate adjustments. Because we don't want to make an adjustment if there's progress being made. And then if progress is too fast and you're losing too much weight too quickly, then we can actually increase the food. So it has a transverse effect as well. I know some people don't feel comfortable tracking their weight, tracking their food, but for me, it's just essential for the way that I calculate my food and how I stay on track with my weight and my fitness. So I'm just gonna wait for that to cook up and then I'm gonna watch a movie, I think, and eat her food. So I'm just sitting down for dinner now, just waiting on Lex to get out of the bath. And I've already ate my veggies because I love my veggies. But this is what remains. I know it doesn't look extremely appetizing right now, but it actually is really tasty. So there's my butternut squaffles. We've got some of the super green stuffed chicken. I've got some of the blend bros sweet chili. And then Lex has some of the uh, parsnips, carrots, some mash. He has like a creamy cheesy mash, but I opt for the butternut squaffles. And then he's got the same chicken. We're gonna watch a bit of Jack White all. Yummy. Yeah, I'm Superman, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me, I said, girl, you can sit on me, cause 